Hey guys, I'm back in the place I used to sit like a year and a half ago in my videos before I started doing everything against that wall. Um, I can't use the table right now because there's a puzzle all over it, so that's why I've put the camera back here again. But anyway, we need, we need to talk about cancel culture. This absolutely stupid fucking bullshit internet trend, and that's really all it is. Now, you might get at me for reasons why I don't like it, and if you want to cancel me, then I fucking welcome it, to be honest. But look, there are so many problems with this thing just being a culture or a meme or a trend, and that's really what it is. It's something that is taken seriously conceptually, but it's implemented like an internet meme or a trend, and like all memes and trends, whether if they're real life or internet ones, they never work out, they're never taken seriously, and they're pushed aside when, you know, when the new thing comes along, and that's actually the fucking problem with it. Look, the idea of canceling somebody is really just boycotting whatever the thing is you don't like. That's actually what you're doing, but for some reason we felt we had to create a word, you know, a separate word for it, when all you're actually doing is boycotting. If you say, hey, we're canceling Onision, what you're actually doing is just boycotting Onision by not watching him, promoting him, etc. So you're not really cancelling anyway, the word doesn't even make any sense within itself, but there's more to it than that, okay? This has been happening with a lot of people. It's happened, you know, Kevin Hart was cancelled, you know, uh, Ethan from H3H3 was recently cancelled, you know, it's happened to so many fucking people. Uh, Pro Jared was cancelled uh, about half a year ago. And there's many other examples. The primary example actually mostly comes from SJWs because you've probably heard about this or that person being cancelled, but most commonly when a person is cancelled, it's as a result of people going onto somebody's Twitter and finding something that they consider to be offensive, like five to ten years ago, like, you know, what they think is a racist comment or a sexist comment or an inappropriate joke or whatever, bringing it up to the current time and saying, this celebrity said something very mean and horrible, cancel them. That's what happened to Kevin Hart, to be specific, and hundreds of other celebrities, by the way. And that's the fucking problem, okay? That's how stupid this is. You're gonna cancel or boycott somebody because they made a fucking joke many years ago? Even if the joke was brand new, you wouldn't have the right to boycott or cancel that person. And you know why? A little fucking wild crazy thing called freedom of fucking expression and speech. It, it, it's wild to think that, never mind if the thing was said 10 years ago, but even if it was said today, the fact that you would like boycott or hate somebody or try to get them fired from a job because of something that they said, an opinion they had, something they wrote on Twitter. Like that's the thing. You should be doing this to people who actually deserve it. Somebody who actually is a racist, somebody who actually is a bad person in some form. If I sit here and tell a fucking offensive joke like, hey, uh, why did Hitler kill himself? because he saw his gas bill. That is a racist Jewish joke, okay? But you wouldn't cancel somebody because of a fucking joke. I am within my right to tell that joke. You know, I've made videos in the past talking about how comedy is fucking dead today, because it fucking is, but that goes on to this video too. This is the whole fucking point. If you people knew what comedy used to be, stand-up comedians and stuff like that, and like in movies, TV shows, actors, whatever, they used to make fucking jokes before the SJW movement began, and nobody was bothered by it. Nobody felt the need to fire that particular celebrity or comedian because they made a fucking joke. That's what comedy is. Comedy is poking fun at yourself and others and being okay with it. That's life. We're human beings. We're supposed to see each other's flaws, but realize that every human being is unique in their own way regardless of it. That's what life used to be about and should be about because it's the fucking correct way of life. Throughout all of history, people have made jokes and poked fun at each other. Nobody's ever had a problem. Not until the SJW movement has this kind of shit begun, okay? It's absolutely fucking ridiculous and stupid and disgusting. It is utterly, utterly fucking retarded. And it's your people's fault, okay? It's your people's fault. Like I said, if somebody actually did do something bad, sure, you can boycott them. Again, canceling, boycotting, it's the exact same fucking thing with a more trendy modernized word. Okay, that's all it fucking is. And it's utterly fucking stupid. I cannot stand when people 
go into someone's Twitter and find a joke they said 10 fucking years ago and then bring it to today and said, hey, uh, this uh, celebrity said something that uh, offended me and they said it in 2009, but we need to fire them because of it. Actors have been fired from TV shows. People have been, um, you know, taken off acting in a movie or something because they said something on Twitter that offended the SJWs. And how can any rational person, I'm talking about rational people, not SJWs, how can any rational person look at that kind of behavior and say, that is good or that is acceptable? Even if somebody did say something bad 10 years ago, it still shouldn't be brought up. And here's a couple reasons. Number one, it was a fucking joke they made. Again, if you don't know what a joke is, please go back to the 90s and, and, and learn what it was. Ask somebody over 40 years old and they'll tell you what a joke is because you probably have no fucking idea what a joke is. But the second reason is something that SJWs are completely unaware of. Personal growth. I know. Trying to put SJWs and personal growth in the same sentence is like putting Hillary Clinton and president in the same sentence. Completely fucking foreign, they don't understand. Well, I'll explain. When someone does, does something bad, whether if it's something that you consider bad because you're fucking insane, or something that actually is bad, people have the ability to grow and learn from what they did or said and no longer agree with what they did or said. That doesn't mean they have to go back 10 years in their Twitter and delete what they said because only a fucking psychopath would do that. But if in modern day they haven't tweeted or said something like that in the last five, six, seven, eight years, then chances fucking are that they no longer believe in that, they would no longer say it, and they've simply grown as a person and have matured as a person. SJWs believe that things said 10 years ago should, ha should be still fucking talked about today, kind of like how they still talk about slavery today, and it's fucking almost 2020. But that's how SJW's minds are. They, they, they will continue to talk about old things in new time as long as it can cause them and allow them to be outraged because, as we've already proven and established, SJW's want to be outraged. They choose to be outraged. It's a choice they make consciously because they want to, okay? And that's what they want. They want to bring things from the past to the present so that they can get angry about it. And they don't believe in personal growth. They believe that everything you've ever said, I'm 30, I guarantee you that if some of my accounts existed when I was like fucking 10, obviously I wasn't on social media when I was 10 years old, but let's assume I was, I guarantee you they would bring up today something I said when I was 10 years old, okay, in the year 2000. <laughs> That's how fucking retarded these people are. That's how monumentally fucking retarded these people are. Stop bringing up the fucking past. Now, the next thing I need to say about this is I'm not against this type of culture in and of itself. I'm against it conceptually because it doesn't fucking work. And I'm horribly, extremely against it if it's about something that somebody did like 10 fucking years ago. But the idea of just getting somebody like, you know, away, whether if you want to boycott them or cancel them, I, I agree with that type of behavior in and of itself if the person truly deserves it. Like, if it's a person like Onision, absolutely fucking lutely we should boycott him. By the way, I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to use the word boycott, but that's because that, that's what it actually is. Anyway, but the problem is I still don't think you should be using the word you're cancelled with someone like Onision. And here is the fucking reason. Again, something else you people need to understand. When you use that word for someone who doesn't deserve it, like a person who said a joke on Twitter 10 years ago, it's stupid and wrong. And when you say it over somebody who does deserve it, it's still wrong. Why is it wrong? Because you're using a word that is nothing more than an internet meme and trend. How can you use a word that is just an internet trend to describe a person who has done something very real and very serious? Onision is a pedophile and a sociopath. He's committed actual crimes. This is something to be taken seriously. 
okay, talked about in a serious, mature tone, not using internet memes and trends, not using these fucking abbreviated words and shit, but talked about in a serious way, in a serious tone, involving police and things like that. Talking about it serious because it's a serious fucking topic. I am not going to look at a criminal like Onision or criminals who are in, currently in jail and go, they're cancelled! No, I'm going to fucking talk seriously. So whether if it's something tame or something serious, using the word cancelled is just stupid. If the, Like I said, if, the, if it's a tame thing, then you're just simply wrong to boycott them in general. And if it's something serious, you're not being serious enough by using this fucking word. It is utterly stupid, just like every other internet meme and trend. And finally, the reason why SJWs, who I think is actually who coined this whole cancelled thing by going into people's Twitter from 10 years ago and blaming them for something they said, this whole entire concept was created for the, for the worst reason in the world. Because of how SJWs are offended by everything and want to be angry about everything and find racism in everything and find sexism in everything. You know what it is? Just like how SJWs do those things because they have nothing better to do, they will also go and try to cancel somebody because they have nothing better to do. SJW's lives are so fucking minimal and disgusting and pathetic, they have nothing better to do in their lives than to try to ruin the lives of someone else because someone else said something that a fucking offends them. And this brings you to two main things. Number one, this proves just how fucking immature and privileged you are. And I've said this many times in other videos too, but the point is, when an SJW complains about anything, it's usually about shit that doesn't matter, right? Like feminism, sexist jokes, racist jokes, cultural appropriation, manspreading, etc. And the fucking moral of those things is, if you, you are so fucking privileged, your life is so good, your life is so easy, that to you, a problem is seeing a man on the subway with his legs open, or what you call manspreading. Those types of things are what SJWs talk about because they have no experience in actual hardships or things that really are a problem in society because their lives are so fucking easy and privileged. SJWs will never complain about real things. And when I talk about real things, I mean everything on my channel <laughs> because I actually talk about real problems in the world. SJWs would never talk about what I about what I do. In fact, SJWs would never even understand what I talk about because they're too busy in their safe spaces in university complaining about minimal bullshit like this celebrity made a joke that hurt my feelings, my feelings. That's pathetic. That's how privileged you are. You know that your life is privileged and easy if you're offended because somebody made a joke on Twitter. I can't even fathom this level of immaturity, you know why? Because I know five-year-olds, well I don't actually personally know five-year-olds, but I'm 100% sure that a five-year-old would look at a joke on Twitter and not be as offended as SJWs are by that joke. When five-year-olds, or just kids in general, are more mature than you, that says something. That's how fucking easy your life is, that you will be offended by things that nobody even cares or thinks about, and you also make a whole problem out of it. You will find a tweet made by a celebrity 10 years ago, and then you'll make a tweet on your own account about how hurt you are by it. Because you can't just move on with your life because your life is that fucking sad. And on top of that, you do that when you cancel somebody. You're gonna hurt someone else's life and reputation, possibly their job, because you just you are offended by it. Not because what the person said has real life consequences, because it fucking doesn't, but because you personally are hurt. Your personal feelings should affect someone else's entire life. If that's what you believe as an SJW who believes, in it, who believes and agrees with cancel culture, then you are the scummiest, lowest-lived piece of fucking shit in the entire 
fucking world. And I hope some ravenous SJW retard comes to this video and tries to cancel me because I told the fucking truth about how dumb this culture is. And hey, go check out all my other videos if you're new here because I have been going after dumb people for the past 12 years and it is a fucking great thing to do. It makes me feel wonderful. <sighs> But that's how pathetic you are. That's how pathetic you are. You are the scum of the fucking earth. You are the scum that I wipe off my fucking shoe to ruin someone. I don't even care if it's a rich celebrity. It could be anybody who makes a joke on Twitter. If you'll ruin someone's life because you, you and your own feelings are offended by something they said that has no consequence outside of your pathetic feelings, that's pathetic. For you to put your feelings above someone else's well-being, life, job, whatever it might be. To anybody like that in the SJW culture as a whole, fuck you and fuck everything about you.